Do we have fantasy from Mojo? Yeah, I can do that. The fantasy set from Mojo is a, such a cool one. So and now um, Giant Lasagna is just going to predict that I get a uh, a dragon. Dragon, turn one, no energy resources. Also, Zola's going to... Oh, Zola's going to bring out the dragon with the test counters. Yeah, archers versus dragon. Yeah, this is Legolas. Legolas versus Sauron, basically. Can Pepper make an appearance? Pepper can make an appearance. I said there would be a Pepper camp at some point, and then I didn't do it. Is she too invested in this pick? Vibranium arrows energy? That'll be useful. Okay. I think everyone can see Pepper, right? She's got a twig. Yeah. She did it. Okay, that's the pepper appearance for the night. Oh, thank you, Don't Be Rock. Pepper got a subscri uh, subscriber for me. <laughs> Just gotta show my dog more often. I gotta integrate her into the stream better. But thank you. It was funny, you gifted um you gifted other people subs before you had one. Okay. I am at nine hit points. And Zola is at twelve. Wait, why did I give Zola a tough status card at the beginning of last time? Did I just assume he was tough? Yeah, I did. I wasted three damage. It's not a twig. <laughs> yeah, Pepper needs to fetch my arrows for me. I just gave Zola tough for no reason last time. I I just assumed he was tough for some reason. Okay, are we set up right? Ultimate Bio Servant comes in. Zola isn't tough. I just gave him one for no reason. He stole my ally. Yep, I think I think we're good here. Ooh, this is this is a tough one. Cause I I really want my mansion here. I was wishing I had my mansion the whole time last game. I'll keep this hand and I'll play my mansion first turn. And then if I draw another double and can get Quinn Carrier. Oh no. I forgot to do that. If I can get Quinn Carrier here, that will help it into play, that'll help a lot. So exhaust that. Draw a card. Wrong double. Okay. Action. I can spend a resource of any type. Um, I'll spend the Quinn Carrier to search out my bow. It's better to give someone a sub before giving yourself one. That's very nice of you. Okay, and I'll play my bow. Yeah, don't be rash. Did do a Chad move. Okay. And then from here... If I flip up, why am I doing that? Why am I flipping up? I don't have anything to do. I mean, I can knock the tough off the bio servant, but does that do anything? Probably not. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Last time I didn't flip up and it hurt me a lot. I think what I'll do is I'll flip up and I'll thwart one off of this. And if I get my other arrow at some point, I can just play it. And I'll hold these two in my hand. And that'll end my turn. Okay. Main scheme. Goes up by one, and I get a test counter. Zola will attack me. I won't block. Oh, zero boost, and the advance is gone. So I take two damage. 
I get one encounter card. Quick strike. That's annoying. Okay, not the end of the world, though. Okay, my turn. I'll take out the mutate. I will get my beat cop down. I'll draw a card with the mansion. Beat cop will grab a threat off the main. This is a really tough choice here on what to do. No, I don't think I can do it. I, I'll do my bow and these two to Vibranium Arrow and just take out the Bio Servant. And then I will flip down. Drop to my hand size. Fantastic. I got Nick Fury. Okay, main scheme goes up by one. I get a test counter. Zola scheme is for two, three. This is going a lot better than last time. And then I get an encounter card. Test subjects with two on it. When defeated, the first player discards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a minion and they reveal that minion. Okay, now I'll draw a card with my mansion. I'll play Nick Fury, two, three, uh, four. That gets Nick Fury out, and I'll draw three cards. One, two, three. Okay. I will spend miles to get my expert marksman out. I will recover for three. Nick Fury will thwart two off test subjects. And then I discard and then I reveal a minion when I get it. When revealed, discard to like a tech, tech attachment and attach it to him. There it is. Uh, pain inhibitors. Um, plus two hit points and retaliate one. That's not going to matter. Because I will use this and my sonic arrow, well, after I flip up, to vibranium arrow and just take out the mutate. It has plus two. That's annoying. So it has one health left. If I do that, what's my other play I could have done? So I could have also sonic arrowed. To deal three to Zola, and and um, confuse him. I think I'll do that. And but when else am I gonna take out the mutate? This is rough. Um. I think I will confuse deal three to Zola and confuse him instead. You seem to already be doing better. Uh, well, yeah, I didn't get the main scheme finished by a triple boost on the first card, so it's going a lot better. Okay, drop to my hand size. Yeah, this is going very well. So I'll be able to um, under surveillance and get a second beat cop out, and then it's basically game over. Test. I discard till I get a minion. Oh, there it is. There's the dragon. There it is. <laughs> wow. Um. Zola will attack me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's the dragon. He's going to attack me for one, two, three. 
for a five, and Nick Fury will block the dragon. Wow. These modulars are rough for Zola. Okay, now it's my turn. Um, I'll draw a card with the mansion. Um, under surveillance on the main scheme. Three for my second beat cop. The beat cops will exhaust to remove two. And then Hawkeye will flip down and recover for three. That's it from me. Okay. Draw up. Okay, electric arrow will be good here. It can deal six damage to the dragon. Just six, though. I'll get to draw four cards when I beat it, though. At least. Okay. Main team goes up by one. And places a test counter. Zola is confused. And then these two scheme for two. And then um, I get an encounter card. Another mutate. So this is the one, this is the same one. Plus two hit points with retaliate one. Okay, Hawkeye's turn. He's gonna recover, get up to nine health. I'll draw a card with the mansion. I'll get my second, my third B cop down. I'll get my quiver down. Um, I will fort three off the Hydra prison, move this from the game, and return it each ally bank it to its owner's hand. And then I'll pay two. No. Then I will flip up. I'll use my quiver. And I'll grab the electric arrow with it. I'll shuffle this up. I'll pay two to get arrows. And I did use one mental. So I can confuse a minion. I'll confuse the dragon in preparation for my electric or the other one that does that. Arrows will thwart two off the main scheme. Okay, and that will end my turn. Okay, I dropped my hand size of five. Oh, this is looking stressful. Okay. 
main scheme goes up by one, places a test counter, Zola attacks me, um, I will take the damage, two, three, four, five, six, bring me to three health, Eros will block the dragon. Encounter card, incite one, and places a test counter. And now it's my turn. I will draw a card with the mansion. Agent Coulson, does that help? Pay two to get Ironheart and draw a card. I'll exhaust my quiver. I wanted to do that first, which... Whatever. I should have done that first, though. So that will attach a cable arrow. play Agent Coulson. He searches for a preparation card. I will grab Spycraft. Play only if you control a spy character. When you reveal an encounter card, discard Spycraft, cancel effects, and discard it, then reveal another card. And then I will use this to get my other Expert Marksman out. Um. Yeah. Um, Coulson will thwart two off the main scheme. The beat cops will thwart three. I'll exhaust my bow and use these two to pay for my electric arrow. Stun an enemy and deal three damage to it. Um, I will stun... They don't have guard. I'll deal three damage to Zola and stun him. Ironheart will thwart the last one off the main scheme. Hawkeye will flip down and recover. Okay. Oh, this is, this is looking difficult. Okay, and I'll drop to my hand size. Okay, main scheme goes up by one. And then I get a minion, a bio servant with tough. Zola schemes for two. Villain gets a tough status card. Three, four, five, six, bringing up to seven. And now, I get an encounter card. Quick strike. Dragon sling arrow? I don't... <sighs> Deals 12. If I get another arrow with my quiver that can finish it, I'll do that. But I don't think I can afford to do that if I don't do that. Um. <sighs> I'll draw a card with the mansion. Stealth strike. So my arrow will deal 12, leaving it at 8 health. Oh! It's 10 per player. I'm so used to 2 player that I thought it was at 20. I was playing this whole game thinking that that dragon was at 20, and I was still thinking that I was going to play it. 
Wow, that's not that bad at all. Okay, I'll recover. Get up to nine. I'll flip up. I will exhaust both my expert marksmen. Well, first I'll quiver. Top five. I will grab my explosive arrow. Oh, wait, the dragon didn't scheme because it was confused. This should be at one less. And then, both expert marksmen to play Vibranium Arrow, killing the dragon through the tough, and lets me draw four cards. Oh, I didn't shuffle, did I? You only drew five? Could be wrong. One, two, three, four, five. No, I, I had six in my hand because I had the vibranium arrow. One, two, three, four cards. That is helpful. That is very helpful. Um, the beat cops will grab three threat off of the main scheme. Okay. Um, Colson will thwart two off the main. Because of mansion? Oh, yeah. I'll draw another card then. Thank you for paying attention to that. I have one explosive arrow in my quiver. Um, so I will... Um, but Hawkeye is exhausted, so I can't actually do these arrows. I'll get my Quinn Carrier out while I can. One, two, um, three. Or I'll use Lockjaw. So Quinn Carrier is in play now. Yeah, I need all the help I can get. I, I always make rules mistakes that make things harder for me. One, two, three, four. Grabs, Daredevil. Okay, I can keep my Stealth Strike in my hand and have used Quinn Carry. And then, these arrows just aren't useful right now, but I don't want to get rid of my explosive arrow, because it's my, like, only way to take out these minions. Um, Ironheart's going to be a blocker. Daredevil doesn't have anything to thwart, but if he attacks one of these minions... But, okay, Ironheart and Daredevil will take out this mutant, this quick strike, mutate. And then, do I want to... I can't play either of these. So the question is, do I throw away my explosive arrow? I don't think I do. So, um... I will keep this. And... Okay. That ends my turn. Already up. Okay, main scheme goes up by one. I get a test counter. He's stunned. And then all of these attack. Um, the question is, do I want Colson? Also, I should have five cards right now. Question, ah, Nick Fury. Ugh. Okay. Um, the question for me is, do I block the mutates? I'd take five damage, bring me to four health. Um, I don't think I block the mutates here. So I can save Colson to block next time. So I'll take the, the five damage, bring me to four health. Now I get an encounter card. Catch the menu with the most remaining hit points without another copy of this. So it's one of these. 
So plus two hit points, that's annoying. Now it's my turn. I'll draw. Okay. Um, I need to play Nick Fury. One, two, three, and then that. Four. Or, I don't need my electric arrow right now, actually. So I'll save Miles. And Nick Fury comes into play. So the question is, do I have him deal six damage or not? I'm going to deal six damage with the other ones. So I probably don't, actually. I'll have him draw me three cards. I got all of them. I really need to remember to use my quiver first. I hate drawing. I'm, I'm not doing that. Because I just need to do the quiver first before I draw. I'll grab this under the quiver. Because when you draw first, you just lose your arrows. And it's really horrible. Okay, and now I draw three. One, two, three. There we go. And now, I think, um, the B Cops will finish this. I will use one Expert Marksman to play the Explosive Arrow that's under here, dealing three damage to the villain and each minion. Then I'll exhaust Hawkeye to ready the bow, and then spend my other Expert Marksman to play another Explosive Arrow from my hand. Um, Dealing three. Okay, and then these minions both have one health. Um, Nick Fury, Coulson, and Daredevil will just take out all these minions. And I get to avoid the retaliates because uh, they die. Coulson dies to Consequential. Nick, um, Nick, uh, just takes the damage there. Um, I think now I'll play my Counterintelligence and flip down. And I'll hold these two in my hand. Or do I want to flip down? No, I don't want to flip down because I want to make use of Nick Fury's block here. Daredevil should have a, another consequential. Okay. That's it for me. I think the game's a wrap. I don't think that I can lose here anymore. What happens to me is I quiver first, final arrow, shuffle, draw with mansion, get an arrow. That's really annoying. I decked out, so I get an encounter card. Main scheme goes up by one. Places a test counter. Zola attacks me for one plus a boost. Taking out Nick Fury. And then I get another encounter card. Zola's experiments. Force response after a minion enters play. It attached the topmost tech attachment uh, to that minion. Comes in with three per play. Bio Servant. Toughness. So it gets the topmost tech, tech attachment. Which is this plus two hit points with Retaliate. So I could actually just ignore that and try to take out um, Zola pretty soon. You did slay the dragon. You kind of deserve W. I hope so. 
That dragon was no joke. Um, this is really funny. My beat cop army is just going to take out Zola's experiment. Beat cop army is very strong. Never sleep on beat cop army. Okay. I will quiver. Searching top five. Three, four, five. Did not get one. Now I'll shuffle up and draw an arrow, right? Right? That's what's going to happen? Yep, there's my explosive arrow. From my mansion. Wow. Oh, you can't make this up. Okay, so that plays Miles. Miles will come into play with plus three, plus two to a stat. I'll give him attack. Hawkeye will actually just attack here, take a retaliate damage, and bring Zola 2 out. Zola 2 has 14 health. When revealed, uh, search for test subjects. There it is. When defeated, the first player uh, discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a minion and reveal that minion. Um, yeah, Daredevil will finish that. Do I have the damage actually to win right here? Uh, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. I don't know. I can win. Okay. So four off there. Miles takes consequ two consequential, one from the retaliation. I will exhaust these two to Vibranium Arrow, dealing six. And then I can pay three for a stealth strike. Deal four to an enemy. Um, and that takes out Zola. And since it defeated Zola, I get to remove two threat from a scheme so I can finish test subjects as well. There we go. <sighs> this one doesn't have guard, right? Yeah, it doesn't have guard. So that was a win. Legolas wins. I really like Hawkeye. I think he might be one of my favorite heroes. Daring Lion. Dragon Slayer. <laughs> Said that to my bio. Yeah, Hawkeye, Hawkeye is a really fun hero to play. I think I do prefer the version of this deck with Upside the Head. That was a lot of fun, though. Victory, yeah. I think I'll post this one on YouTube, because it was fun. Everyone keeps telling me Hawkeye's horrible, but he seems fine. Like, he's clearly not as strong as Venom when I just played Venom, but... But he's pretty good. I don't know. Like, every hero feels good to me, though, now, so... By I think he is able to beat most scenarios, is what I'll say. Thank you for making a great modular. Yeah, don't be rash. That was great. And thank you for the subs. That really makes this worth it. 